The images are heartbreaking. The damage extensive. The massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake overnight has killed thousands in Turkey and Syria. Closer to home, the Turkish American Association of North Texas is mobilizing efforts to help their homeland. Olivia Leach has more on how you can help. We're very concerned about the, the loss of life and um, the facts look very scary. Like many Turkish Americans, Erdal Sepahi has been glued to the television to get updates on the devastation left behind after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked southeastern Turkey and northern Syria on Monday morning. Although Erdal does not have family or friends in the affected region, he knows friends here in North Texas who have family trapped in the rubble. It's very, very, very tragic. As you can see, the buildings have collapsed. Um, you might see some videos of people be being pulled and you know, the Turkish rescue operations are full of uh, forge ahead. In happier times, the Turkish American Association of Northern Texas, or Toronto, promotes Turkish culture and supports the Turkish American community in North Texas. But now their members are coming together to find out how they can help recovery efforts on the ground in Turkey. Right now, the most important is, thing is to search and rescue people that are still alive and to save lives. Toronto is working to collect cash donations for search and rescue organizations there and collaborating with Turkish American associations across the country to find out how to ship supplies to their homeland. I'm anticipating that the Turkish Airlines will uh, form a, a bridge from you know United States, the different cities that they serve, including Dallas, Fort Worth and Houston in Texas. Um, and other cities to help us uh, carry some of the donations that people may be thinking about uh, providing. Toronto is asking for the community's help to find a warehouse where they can collect those donations in the days ahead. We're all volunteers. We've not faced this kind of a devastation in our, um, in our country in such a long time. Uh, we appreciate and please pray and hope for the best. Olivia Leach, CBS 11 News.